behind the, the curtain. What if How has the voice acting affected the way you write characters? Well, we had mentioned earlier with Zane, like we thought Zane was spiritual, but after hearing your voice and seeing his square head, that's when we came up with the Nindroid. Mm -hmm. um, we have a we have a, a a voice in the casting of the roles, and so we'll hear the auditions, and we, you know, once we've created the character, we're listening to different people and trying to find the right. But not at the start. At the start, the characters were set, right? And then, but now you guys are executive producers on the show as well, right? Yes, in the original Ninja, the Lego had picked and uh, will film, and they all chose. The so when you're casting. when you're writing, do you think in your mind, well, I know that. Brent's gonna do the line, or I, after hearing thousands of Zane lines, he'll probably play it like this, and so you, you that's basically the question. Yeah, we hear, yeah, we definitely, we definitely have the ninjas, I mean, the established ninjas' voices in our head. As for new characters, we just kind of take an archetype of who we think. Yeah, and I swear, it's like, even for me, it's like, I'm a fan of Ninjago, and I've never met you guys, right? Mm -hmm. And so when we're writing Zane, I just have Zane in my mind. Like, he's a real person in my mind. Right. You know what I mean? I don't, I don't think you yeah, I'm like, they're real characters. Yes, us, that's know? cool. How did you guys get into writing? Uh, we grew up about, we actually didn't want to become writers. I wanted to do music for film, and Kevin wanted to direct for film. Mm -hmm. And then out of film school, Kevin's like, well, who, who am I going to give, who's going to give me money to make a movie? And I, and I started getting nervous. I'm like, well, if you can't make a movie, who's going to put my music in their movie? <laughs> and they were like, well, we better start writing something. And that's how we became writers. Wow. Well, and can I just say, like, when we were young, you know, we lived in Portland, Oregon, where it rains a lot. We were indoors. We're not outside. And our dad had a little video camera he just got. And so we started setting the camera up on a tripod. We started filming ourselves and our friends. We started shooting little movies. And Man. we started to fall in love with doing that. I feel like writing Ninjago is a lot like us playing G.I. Joe together. We used to play G.I. Yeah. Joe all the time in the backyard, and we had this little, like, koi pond with a waterfall. It wasn't a big house, but we had a koi pond with a waterfall, and that was Look. everything we needed to, you know, have so many different action scenarios. Of, right. Like, you know, people dangling on on, uh, on wires and yeah. things like that, and I think, and and I have to tap into those emotions when I write now, and I love it. It's like one of the, it's like my favorite time. Get to be a kid again. Get to be a kid again. And you, you know, man, it's the it, nowadays with the Lego. They're do, like tons of YouTubers, people that watch yeah. this. They do stop animation. Yeah, I love with it. your characters. Yes. Then they do. All, I mean, if yeah. I was a kid, I would have my camera set up and I'd be doing stories oh. and movies like that. Yeah. When, when we were making movies, we, we were never able to edit. It was always like you were editing, you know, pushing off. And pushing you on couldn't do was, stop was, right. was editing, right. like and so can. you had to get everything just right. When Zane died at the time, did you know he was coming back? Yes, we okay. knew all along. You knew all along. Okay. Um, did you know Ninja Ninjago? Wait, was we will say there, there there is a bit of an air at the end of that Ninjago episode because there's some confusion when Pixel comes down, and you hear, "Are we compatible now?" Pixel's looking all around, and in that script, she's looking directly at the camera. As if, as and opposed, reflected in and her reflected eyes. Reflected in her eye, you were supposed is, to see the outline of Zane. So she sees Zane rebuilt at, right. on that yeah, last Yeah, you're scene. supposed to know. And so when you oh hear, are we compatible now? She is seeing. You Zane. know there's Zane 2.0. You know there's a titanium but they didn't, Zane. They didn't animate it like that. Yeah, there is some so, confusion. Oh, okay. Well, it's, there's always there's always so that's why all the kids are crying, man. Yeah. Well, <laughs> there's, 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 there's a lot of difficulty because it's like. The animation's done in, in Denmark and, and all over the world, and then, you know, you've got voice acting in, in Canada, you've got writing in Los Angeles. Um, it's, it's, it's a miracle that we're able to create something that's actually watchable, because we're all coming from several parts right. of the globe, coming together. Did you guys have any influence on the names of the ninja, or is that Tommy at the Yes, start? We, I think... In the original ninja? Well, I, the, I'm assuming right now you do with the characters, right? Yeah, yeah, most but, of the characters. But originally yeah. when... Um, yeah, I got to look at the old scripts. But I remember Wu's name was different. Like, we had different names. Lord Garmadon, um, originally we named him Lord Demic because it sounded kind of evil. But, but I think it was a bad word in another The language. word, do, yeah, it, it doesn't, doesn't translate, translate well. Right. And so then we were told it's Lord Garmadon. Legal picked that. Like, like Lego's like, we're picking Lord Garmadon. And we couldn't pronounce it for like... It was comedy. I was like, what is it? Lord Gar Garmadon? Garmadon? Like, well, but, you know, it took forever. <laughs> now like, I love it. Love it. <laughs> yeah, I love yeah, it. Yeah. I love it now. And I love that, like, kids, kids know it. 
you know, and the parents don't know how to say it. Yeah. And so it makes like, it their another own. Example, you know? um, uh, another example of that was Nauticon. That was like, I, I feel like Lego always comes back with these weird names. What was his name? It was, it, he was, uh, uh, he was a captain. It wasn't Captain Nauticon. What was his, um, Azad. His name was Azad. A-Z-Z-A-B. I remember that because that was in the scripts. And yeah. we had to redo lines. Yeah, but there's a, a very bad dictator. Uh, named Azad. Or, oh, some Assad. sort of bad... Assad, yeah. yeah so, and so we so, had to yeah. change that. Do you, this, this is like golden nuggets for Little secret. What is your opinion on the show's fan base? I love it. I, You know, I think we're so lucky over everything we've ever worked on. I'm the happiest with Ninjago because... To, to, to write something that, that people break, bring into their lives and to really like, mm. to feel like they're a part of, to see people do drawings of like what they look like, like human beings and things like that. I love yeah. that because So you like, check out the fan art. I know oh, they, yeah. they fan treat you a lot, awesome. but, I'm, but you also oh, check it, it out. Yeah, yeah. Oh, we love it. It's I mean, the when cosplay you, and the, and yeah. When you write a movie and it's just an hour and a half, you know, animated movie or something, it's a short little story for mm -hmm. a character. And now, like, we've had so many seasons and these characters just come to life now. Right. And there's an evolution and they're growing up and changing. And I just, we just love it's that. Hard, it's hard to keep everything right, but we do the best we can. You're doing a pretty good job. Thank you. Yeah, just as long <laughs> as... You yeah, too. As you, hey, man. You too. As you long as Zane stays in yeah, the show, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're, we're okay. Zane, you're a robot. Come right. on. Like, yeah, you can't right. really I can't die, die man. I'm no, titanium. You you Although, can't. you're going to make me ask, how can Zane die? No, we're not gonna. No, we're not gonna ask that. Yeah, yeah. No, no, are you kidding me? That's interesting. Oh, yeah. I'm invincible. Um, okay, you guys have made. They may or not know this because they may not recognize that it's actually you guys. Some of the fans, but you've made some special appearances in the seasons before. Yes. Are you gonna do that again? No, because I think it's. I think it's very. I, I think we're in it too much. I think it started. It started Here, out. We, okay, yeah. It, it, let's at, clear at, this. At first let's they, clear this air. At first, they, I think the the will film the production put us in, and we didn't really know it. We didn't write ourselves in personally. Right. But here's a great behind the scenes story. In the Nauticon season, yes, we came to a point. We were where writing so fast. We were writing so fast that season, and we had no idea how the ninja how to get a genie or a gin back into the lamp. Yeah, and we were so stuck on it and so we started to get this crazy idea of what if we put ourselves into the show we thought about far uh, not fargo um argo there's a scene of like this is a crazy idea we're taking you know it's so crazy it just might work and yeah. i think that and we like you know they're bringing in the, the, the hollywood, hollywood players come in to help out with this yeah. political spy mission you know and, and so, so we got a kick out of that uh looking back we probably shouldn't have put i mean it's embarrassing to tell all the writers like oh yeah we write a show we've written ourselves into it <laughs> it was it was a fun kind of self-aware yeah bit. okay so we're not going to do any more of it though no no i don't none, none planned no. Unless they're needed you to know, figure out how Zane dies. Oh my gosh! Zane's what if all, no. <laughs> Zane's not what if all the ninja get captured and no, no. there's no one left, and so they, they go to Kevin, Kevin and Dan Hagman to don their ninja costumes and help? That would not work. No, we're not going to write that. Don't worry. Are we going to get a Wu season? There's a hashtag on Sensei Wu season out there that the fans a are. A Wu season. Yeah, hashtag Sensei Wu season. People want. I mean, it's a great idea. Um, What's up we haven't it? thought about it. We haven't thought about a Wu season. You know, I just made one guy that started that really happy because I brought it to the attention of the people because he was asking about it, and now at the, the community was like going crazy talking about okay, it. Okay, can, can I just say like what we do do is every season we're we're thinking about okay, who do we focus on now? Like rebooted was very much a Zane. We could season. connect with our eighty and over audience. What? <laughs> so, so, yeah. But we, we're always focusing on, okay, this season will be Jay's season, right. or Nia's, or uh, Kai's. Um, and so, let's just say, you know, Wu, we love, and w where you, there might be a season that you might watch and you feel like Wu's kind of in the background, that means in the coming seasons, we're going to start bringing them back into the into the front. And so there's going to be, without yeah, anytime, saying anything, yeah. there's going to be a lot of some great Wu um, storyline happening in the future. Yeah. Cool. Do you own any Ninjago sets? Yes. So yeah. Many. What's your favorite? What's our favorite? Well, Destiny's Bounty, I love. Temple of Air Jitsu is pretty awesome. So you both have a lot. Yeah. We, I think we wrote it into our contract. We wrote so it into our. You know, what, you know, I, I don't. I only have a few, so I'm jealous. So. We wrote it into our contracts that uh, Lego has to give us uh, one model of everything that we've helped kind of. No. You know, work on. No. Yeah. No. 
No, are you yeah. serious? <laughs> well, we helped come up with it. So I, like, I get it. I get. I get what you're saying. Like the lighthouse. I actually haven't built the lighthouse yet. I, no, I no, no. See that yeah, but that was like our idea. No, it was, it was like the lighthouse. No, like, you have literally have everything from Ninjago. We have a lot. We have a lot. One of them. Yeah, we have a lot of dragons. <laughs> Hashtag jealous. <laughs> my kid, my kids are happy. Yeah. Oh my gosh! <laughs> In your opinion, to wrap up this interview, uh, I would love to go more, but these guys do have to catch a, yeah. a flight. There's an argument. That we've had, uh -oh. me and uh -oh. a ninja, a few the about, age about the ages. Yeah. Okay. Now we don't need to get into this too much. No, we can. Let's but I'm going to ask let's you. Let's get. Let's get into it. This is a two-parter. Question number one: mm. the pilot episode. What were the ages of the ninja? Part two is, and have they changed now? Here's the difficulty of this question, and it's really unanswerable because, on one hand, the ninjas need to stay in the same age range, but at the same time, the ninjas need to grow up. So, I mean, technically, they, you know, I, they were always in their, they started in their teens. So I would say when Nia and Kai started, they were probably in the 13 to 15, you know, Nia's supposed 14, to be two 16. years younger, right? Yeah. yeah. So or I would say maybe even 14, 16. Now they're more like, and now I'd say they're more like 18. So they're slowly then, kind of aging up, I think. But we're trying but not to, but, I mean, it's been you know, do you years. want, do you want to watch them and they're all 40 year olds? 35 year old, I mean, you know. You know. Mm -hmm. Ninja. So, so basically, what you're saying is in the in the pilot, basically Kai would have been about 16, Nia would have been about. And I would say Lloyd is always about two years younger than the rest of the ninja. You, think, I would say Lloyd's probably like the Harry same age as Nia. Think Harry Potter. You know, you start off in their early teens, and then you know they end off in their late teens. Right. You right. know what? Lloyd is probably Nia's age, but he had some help from um, from growing up in that in that um, comic book shop episode. Mm -hmm. So he's probably actually two, you know, physically he's probably Nia's age, but emotionally he's probably two years younger than Okay. That. See, just to let you guys know, Kirby and I had a big argument about this. Really? Yeah, yeah but it was in fun, but you yeah. should watch Technically it. Zane could be... The, I know, Zane is without... Uh, it, it's, the, it's the what ages yeah. were when we went for that initial audition, okay? Yeah. And so I was, he, he says in the interview, he goes, well, you know, I sound like a 14-year-old ninja. And I say, well, well, they're going to bust you on that. He's like, what? I'm like, well, we're not 14. He's like, yeah, we are. And I'm like, no, we're like no, 16. No, probably 16. We're like 16 to 20. Yeah. And he's like, no, we're not. And we and we have a huge argument yeah, that yeah, we yeah. phoned Sensei Wu on the Sorry, phone. Kirby. That's we what phone. happens when you never, and like, What did say Sensei Wu say? Dude, oh, he was like, what are you guys phoning yeah. me for? Like, I don't know. I did an audition for him. So I went back. I literally found the email on the casting. Says nothing on the breakdowns, nothing no. about ages. I I I'll get, say upper teens. Yeah, I get a hold of Tommy. I say Tommy, man, yeah. can you solve this argument? I want it because Kirby's like, there's gonna be an online apology, and I'm yeah. like, yeah, it's gonna be you. So anyway, no, but at the same time, I will say um, what we say isn't necessarily stone. I mean, well, like we, this is just in our in the way that we write them and in our heads. But I think right. it's like Bart Simpson is the same age continuously. It's just hard hard because you want to keep. You know, if you guys want Ninjago to end, we can end Ninjago. No. We can establish ages. No, dude. No, no. <laughs> but anyways, Tommy says to me, uh, well, they should probably around the, the pilot, they're around 16, but now that we, we don't want to have an age on them, but they would be sounding like they're, you know, late teens, 20 yeah. years old. But I might have said 14 for the pilot, which completely screwed it up because yeah. if he said that. So there's no proof out there on the ages. So Ninjoids so. aren't always right. But we know that. You could say that 18 to 20, 16 yeah. to 20 range. I wouldn't say 20. I would keep them all under 20. I don't think they'll ever hit their 20s. I mean, I don't know. Maybe I just hope Kirby Ninja Moore was watching this. <laughs> Guys, I'm going to let you get your flight. This has been an amazing opportunity to speak with you, ask a bunch of fan questions. If we meet hopefully again in person... Hopefully we answer them to your liking. Well, you did to mine. Uh, if, we get, if we meet in person again... I'll ask you all the other questions. Follow we missed up questions. And, and I'm sorry we didn't get to all of them, but they literally have to get a plane. I will put their Twitter below. Link it. We love hearing from the fans, and it's been such a special experience. So. All right. Yeah. Signing off. Dan and Kevin. Hagman. 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 Dan and Kevin Hagman, guys. Yeah. In the house. Bye. Like and subscribe <laughs> this.